today's section of the class. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate the number of covalent bonds present in a given compound. But before we do that, I wish to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for visiting my channel on a daily basis. Please do not forget to invite more of your friends. Tell your cosmates about this channel. Let them come and follow us and learn with us. Don't forget to share it to all level students you know because I know it is going to help them a long way. Please and please share to your cosmates, all of them that are offering chemistry in your department or other departments, share with them and do not forget to tell them to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now let's quickly look at this question that says, calculate the number of covalent bonds in CH3COOH. Alright, CH3COOH means ethanoic acid. The number of covalent bonds, as I've given you in previous videos, is calculated using the formula TS minus TV divided by 2. Please, when you use this formula and you get a decimal number, please drop it. Don't go ahead with it. The formula helps you only to an extent. Make sure the answer you are getting is a whole number for you to go ahead with it. Okay. TS here stands for total stability. YTV stands for total valency. And what is total valency? Assuming I have a compound named whose formula is XY, like sodium chloride is NaCl. So assuming there is a compound whose formula is XY, your total stability there will be stability of X plus stability of Y. But your total valency is valency of X plus valency of Y. Now for sodium chloride, for instance, my total stability for sodium chloride will be stability of sodium plus stability of chlorine. Why my total valency will be Valency of sodium plus valency of chlorine. And what is valency? In this topic, valency is the total number of electrons present in the outermost shell of that atom. While total stability, or sorry, why stability is the number of electrons that are supposed to be at the valence shell in order for the atom to have a noble gas structure. As you know, for a substance to be like a noble gas, the outermost shell needs to have a total of eight electrons, which we call the octet states. Okay, so let's solve this problem. We are asked, how many covalent bonds are present in CH3, COOH, which is ethanoic acid? So here we are going to find the total stability. For, for CH3, COOH, our total stability will be stability of carbon plus stability of hydrogen plus stability of oxygen. Why do I say so? Because the compound contains only three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So if I bring stability of each of them, it will give me the total stability. Now, how do I get it? Let's do so. Let's find stability of carbon. I've said this in the previous video, other elements have stability of 8. It's constant for all other elements within first 20. Except, um, except hydrogen and helium. Stability for hydrogen and helium is 2-2. Two, two. Why is this so? Hydrogen is the first element, which is like this. Helium is the second element, which is like this. This is their first shell, and it is also their outermost shell. So the total number of electrons that fills up the first shell, as you know, the first shell, the total number of electrons that fills it up is only two, while other ones is 888. Eight, eight. So hydrogen and helium have stability of 2, 2, while other elements have stability of 8, 8. So carbon has stability of 8, plus hydrogen has stability of 2. But then, how many hydrogens are in that? Okay, watch, 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 take a look. This is ethanoic acid. Total number of carbons here are one, two, two of them. Eight is for only one carbon. 
Now, there are two carbon silicon compounds, so I multiply by two. Plus, hydrogen has stability of two. I multiply by how many hydrogens that are there? Three plus one, four of them. Plus, oxygen has stability of eight. How many oxygen are here? Two. So I'll say eight multiplied by two. Remember, all the elements have stability of eight, 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 except hydrogen and helium that have two. Okay, my total stability becomes eight times two is 16, plus two times four is eight, plus eight times two is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32, plus eight, 40. So my total stability is 40. Let's find our total valency here. Total valency will be valency of carbon plus valency of hydrogen plus valency of oxygen. The valency is the number of electrons that are in the outermost shell. While stability is number that are supposed to be there. Look at the difference. Stability is the total number of electrons that are supposed to be there. While valency is the total number of electrons that are there. Okay, so valency for carbon, your valency simply means your group number in the periodic table. So valency for carbon is, carbon is number six, carbon is the sixth element. So the valency, if I draw carbon, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is carbon. This is the outermost shell, the valence shell. How many electrons can you find in the outermost shell, or you call it valence shell? One, two, three, four. So valency for carbon is four. And how many carbons are in the compound? Two of them, so I multiply by two. Plus, valency for hydrogen, hydrogen is the first element. So the valence, if I draw it, I'll have it as this. The valency is only one. One electron is in the valence shell. Now say one, well, multiply by how many hydrogens are in the compound? Four of them. Plus, oxygen, the valency for oxygen. Oxygen is number eight. If I draw it, I'll have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The valence shell, which is this one, has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. Six multiplied by two. Why? Because I have two oxygen in the compound. So this will give me four times two, eight. One times four, four. Six times two, twelve. So I'm going to have eight plus four is twelve. Twelve plus twelve gives me twenty-four. So my total valency is 24. Now that I have gotten my total stability, I have gotten my total valency, I can now calculate the number of covalent bonds. So my covalent bonds will be equal to total stability, which is 40, minus total valency, which is 24, divided by 2. And that will give us this minus this is 16 all over 2. So our final answer is 8 covalent bonds. So there are a total of 8 covalent bonds in ethanoic acid. Remember, to verify this, let's verify this answer, whether we are correct by drawing the structure of ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is like this. There are two carbons there. I have it as one, two. I have my two oxygens here, which is the functional group COOH. I have the remaining three hydrogens here. Now, this is the ethanoic acid. Let's count the number of covalent. We know that all the bonds present in ethanoic acid are covalent. Remember, organic compounds undergo covalent bonding. So, here, the number of bonds we can see is one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Uh, somebody may think that there are seven bonds here. No, there are eight. There is a bond between oxygen and hydrogen, which is not being displayed. In the real sense, it is drawn this way. There is a bond here. So the total bonds here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are a total of eight covalent bonds, and that is our answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.